Hello everybody, Fly with Shelly here. I hope everybody's doing well. Today is gonna be kind of an interesting day. I've always wanted to do this and I've been getting so many messages, you guys, uh, regarding the zodiac, the Chinese zodiac sign, how it conflicts with your Pichu bracelet and if you should wear it, if you shouldn't, um, are you, uh, you know, is it gonna cause problems? Um, so I'm getting so many of these questions and I wanted to answer them once and for all, so you guys get to the bottom of what is going on, if you should, if you shouldn't, uh, I'm gonna cover that. I'm gonna cover also if you are under a Chinese zodiac sign for 2021, it's really important that you listen carefully because I'm gonna go into details as to what you need to do to protect yourself and if you are at risk of some you know, negativity during the year of 2021. So with no further ado, uh, let's get started. I'm glad that you're back again. Um, if you guys don't know me, uh, my name is Shelly and I, uh, I have Fly With Shelly um, channel. I talk about anything related, airlines, flight attendant. I do flight attendant coaching or anybody going into the airline industry. I can help you with uh, your resume. Also, I started and just launched recently uh, my um, Feng Shui Obsidian Bracelet uh, line which have given so many people so much luck, you guys, including me. And I have some good news to share with you all. I just learned from some of the people that have been, you know, purchasing from me. I've had a guy email me telling me that he used to play the casino, never won, wore his bracelet, barely put a couple of pennies, $1,000 on the dot. So he was really excited about that. I have a friend of mine who just closed her deal. Uh, ever since she got her bracelet, she closed a million dollar deal in real estate and made her a lot of money, enough money to actually pay off all of her debts. So I'm really excited about that. I heard from another client who purchased my Feng Shui Lucky Wealth bracelet. She could not get this job that she applied for, uh, wore the bracelet called them up, followed up with them, see what was going on. They actually opened a position and had her come in just the other day. Um, so I was just like, oh my God, are you serious? So all I'm getting is positivity from everywhere. It is working, you guys. It's worked for me. This is why I basically endorse it. This is why I believe in it. This is why we have it on our website. If you guys want to get your lucky wealth bracelet, it is www powerfulbracelet.com no s at bracelet um you can also go to authentic feng shui bracelet.com those all go to the same website and you can purchase it's not complicated there's only three bracelet one that's made of real gold which is a little more expensive and the other two are made of plated gold um with some of the amazing mantra beads which are carved in and are blessed uh by the temple um monk uh which i have a video that's out now i believe before this one uh where i take my family and this is where we have them blessed before they go to your home so um the turnaround is really quick if you guys live within the u.s it is free shipping also um i try to go to the temple twice a week i try not to bring too many bracelet at once so that you can concentrate on the prayers on um on the bracelet but they ship really quickly within two to three days i ship them you guys receive them. You can start enjoying them, cleanse them before you get started. Very important. I'll have some documentation in the envelope. I've got a lot of packages, you guys, to mail. These are just a few. I've got a lot more here. These are just more. <laughs> so I am, whoops. So you guys, it is working. If it wasn't, I wouldn't get all these orders. People are just, orders are coming in. I'm running out of bracelets too. Um, I'm gonna have to start making more, but um, it's incredible how I've been getting such positive feedback. So if you guys wanna get your bracelet, get it now. Um, you know, it's just, it, it is working, it is powerful. Um, 
try not to think negative with it. Don't start saying to yourself, it's not going to work. Why is it going to work uh, for me? I never get lucky. Just change your thought process, you guys. And as you change it, you will see a lot of good things will start happening. Um, it is obviously 50% your thought and 50% what it brings. And uh, the fact that it's blessed, it just, it brings so much positivity around whoever wears them and uh, also make sure nobody touches it it is yours for you for your eyes only touch it all day long make sure you remind it who is boss you know especially when you first get it you guys make sure that you wear it a lot because you wanted to make sure that it knows who is the master anyways i have a whole video on how to wear it you guys now i'm gonna put it in the description box make sure you go there if you didn't get the website i'll put it there as well too just click on the link we do accept paypal credit card go ahead and uh, i will make sure that it's shipped out asap for you guys all right so the reason why i've been introducing pishu the pishu bracelet again because it has a correlation with what i'm about to say today um because you are gonna have to protect yourself if you are within <clears throat> these zodiac signs so this information is public for everybody you can read it online um i'm not some kind of like medium that knows all this stuff <laughs> i read a lot um and i'm very interested in everything that's mantra chinese zodiac anything that has to do with beads luck wealth for me um i, I think it's just something to turn to um and it's worked for me so i just want to share my information with you all chinese zodiac sign all right, depending on what you are. Some people know, some people don't. I will leave a link below so you guys can figure out what your Chinese zodiac sign is. Now, my Chinese zodiac sign is actually the pig. <laughs> um, and so apparently it is a good luck sign for this year, 2021. Now, I'm going to name a few zodiacs, but I will name the ones that will clash this year. Uh, which means you're going to have to protect yourself, um, which is really, really important. And, and I'll get into that a little bit later at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch throughout the whole video. Um, also subscribe if you get a minute. Subscribe, click the notification bell. Uh, I have a lot of these videos coming up. Very interesting for 2021. So I want to make sure that you guys are uh, up to date with everything and you understand how to wear it and what it's going to do for you. All right. So... Chinese zodiac sign will clash with Tai Xu or Tai Xu uh, in 2021. Uh, now, Tai Xu, for those of you who don't know what that is, Tai Xu or Tai Xu, S U I, is actually a mysterious force. It, they, they know what it is, uh, but they, the Chinese believe that it is a mysterious force, okay, that will dominate and influence your daily life and will determine if you're having a really good day or bad day or good year or bad year. All right. Uh, so it, it influences a lot of people's destiny. And so um, there, you know, there's a huge, huge, there's huge paragraphs on what that is. If you guys want to look it up, it is spelled T-A-I, Thai, and then Sui or Shu, S-U-I. So look it up, you guys. So it'll tell you about this mysterious force that is out there that people believe. Um, and, and it's very, it's in correlation with Feng Shui. All right. So um, read about it. I won't get into it, but just know that it's a force that influences your day, basically. All right. So the Chinese zodiac sign that will clash with Tai Su, all right, in 2021, remember every year it changes. Now I need to make sure that you guys understand uh, that every year it is in the same. It is not the same. So it's really important that you remember that. So if this year you're lucky, that's great. It doesn't mean that 2022 you will also be lucky. So I'm just talking for this year since we're just beginning the year. Since 2021 is the ox year. Okay, so the animal ox, that is the Chinese. Now, the ox will conflict with another ox. Now, again, if you don't know what Chinese sign you are, I will put the link below. You will click that, and it'll ask you for your date of birth, your year, your day, your month, um, and it'll populate and tell you exactly what animal you are. So it's really important that you know that um, before I get started. But I will help you um, with the ones that, you know, if I don't name you, that means you're safe. If I... Um, if I do name you, that means you guys are going to have kind of like a complicated year. So stay tuned. All right. If you are born, um, in 2021, obviously you're an ox because the ox this year is, um, is going to be clashing with Tai Su. Anyone born in 1937 is an ox. Now I'm going to keep, uh, naming the years. So you guys just, uh, if you want to listen through it, 
1937, 1949, 1961, 1973, 1985, 1997, 2009, 2021, obviously. Now, if you guys are any of those signs, you guys will have a really, really hard time this year. Uh, I'm going to get into the details later, but just know that it's going to be a very challenging year for you guys. All right. Now, if you are a sheep, all right, in Chinese, again, astrology, if you are a sheep, um, you are going to conflict with the ox. Remember, this year is the ox year. So anything that conflicts with the ox is not a good year for you. Uh, so if you're born in 1931, if you're born in 1943, if you're born in 1955, if you're born in 1967, if you're born in 1979, if you're born in 91, if you're born in 2003, and if you're born in 2015, that means you guys are sheep. Now, Okay, so they say, and I don't want you guys to get scared if you are born in any of those years, but the Chinese say that if you are a sheep, this year will be the worst year of your life. And I'm sorry to say, I don't, <laughs> again, don't take my word for it. I mean, do take my word for it, but don't dramatize things. I'm not saying you're going to die, you're going to have this, you're going to have that. There is ways to prevent anything that will happen. So it's good to know and to be at the lookout. Uh, it's going to be your worst year as far as work, you guys. Um Things are not going to be aligned the way that you want them to be. Uh, as far as your love life, things are going to be horrible this year. That's what it says. And also uh, specifies to not get married. If your intention was to get married in 2021, do not do it. It is not the good year for you. It will not work out if you do. All right. Again, this is just what I've read. Take, don't take my word for it or take my word for it. What is, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. Uh, I am just a messenger, but don't kill the messenger, please. <laughs> All right. Also, when it comes to um, so work and when it comes to driving, you guys, all right? So driving, really important. Make sure you pay attention to signs. Make sure you pay attention to lights. Make sure that you uh, you, are, you put your seatbelt every day when you are driving. It's not going to be a good year when it comes to driving for them. Again, I am just a messenger. Just be careful. It's good to know, right? If, if somebody would tell me, hey, something may happen, just be careful. I would definitely be more careful and more attentive throughout the year, obviously. Uh, I wouldn't take chances if I didn't have to. Also, um, they say to control your anger because if you come into contact with someone that you don't like, blood can be shed. So apparently the sheep is the worst year for them this year because they are the biggest conflicts with the ox year so you guys i want to make sure i want to emphasize a lot that if you are within the years that i've mentioned please stay away from um all negativity because it's just going to be amplified by 10. all right all right so that we got that out of the way now we're going to go to the horse if you are a horse which means if you were born in 1930 1942 1954 1966 1978, <clears throat> sorry, 1990 and 2002. If you're a horse, again, it'll be a very challenging year for you guys. Now you won't have it as bad as the sheep, but it, it is, they always say to be careful driving, uh, work and uh, love, love life. All right, uh, and all of those that I'm mentioning, there's one, two, three, four, five. Those fives are gonna have it the worst this year. I apologize in advance, if you will. Um, just make sure you keep your eyes open, um, you know, because I, I rather let you know than, than something happens, all right? Um, the dog, if you guys are a dog, if you're born in 1934, 46, 58, 1970, 1982, 1994, uh, 2006, or 2018, obviously you're not watching that because you'd be a baby, but if your child is, um, again, be careful, watch your back, watch your health. Uh, really important. Those things um, you guys need to be aware of. Uh, now, the last one is the dragon. If you're a dragon, which means you are born in either 1928, 1940, 1952, 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, and 2012. If you guys are born in any of those dates, again, the dragon will conflicts with this year's ox, Chinese zodiac, which means that you guys may encounter a lot of difficulty this year. Um, so again, watch your back, be careful. All right, so now we got all of these animals out of the way. If you're an ox, if you're a sheep, a horse, a dog, and a dragon, please, 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 I beg you, watch out, okay? Just put on that seatbelt and hang on tight because this year, 
hopefully it'll go fast and, and you guys are going to stay safe. Um, again, do not get married by all gods. It is not recommended. It, it says that it will fail. Um, it can't fail. It could fail. I mean, you could be the most positive person. It could be against your, your will. You can have the purest of intentions. Things are just going to clash, unfortunately. So your love life, your health, and your wealth will be very, very affected for these five zodiac signs. Please don't act rashly is what it says. You know, take your time to think things through because things can end up pretty bad. But they are saying in 2021 to avoid the Taisu direction. Now, the Taisu direction for 2021 will be northeast. Putting anything in its opposite way, southwest, which is completely the opposite, you'll be clashing and then negativity will happen. Okay, so it's a little bit, it comes down to Feng Shui. If you guys understand Feng Shui, wherever you put your mirrors or your desk or your your uh, your bed is going to influence the quality of sleep that you're going to be getting. This is why one year you could be sleeping really comfortably and the next year you're like, I don't know if it's the bed or what's going on. I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Again, it comes down to Feng Shui, you guys. Um, so again, it'll be damaging this year if you have anything facing southwest, okay? So for example, if your bed is facing um northeast you're fine okay because this is in the direction of the ox which is face right now is in is in the northeast direction if you're putting your desk in the opposite direction as well as your your bed you are actually and that's again only for the five um chinese um that I've, I've mentioned. If you are not affected by it, it won't affect you at all. So you can keep watching this video because the year that may be bad luck for you could be next year. So you kind of want to hear what you have to do in order to protect yourself from that negativity. But it's always also good to protect yourself even if you're not affected because there's always negativity around you, whether it's people thinking bad about you, people wishing bad on you, people with jealousy, people, I mean, it's always good to have that evil eye uh, protection around you kind of like that bubble and I'll show you exactly how to do that all right so make sure you guys uh, the damaging uh, direction that you don't want to go is southwest so make sure you check to see where is your desk where is your your bed and they do say that you will just feel so sluggish and so tired your health will diminish in you know as a result uh, if your work desk is facing the wrong direction, uh, you will start getting a lot of problems with work. Work is going to slow down. Things are not going to work out the way that you want them to be. Again, just pay attention to where everything is positioned. And that would be for the ox, um, the, the Chinese zodiac, for the sheep, uh, for the horse, for the dog, and for the dragon. For those five, it's really important that you guys pay attention to those. Um, so driving, they say to worship the Taishu. Okay, so if you can pray before the first lunar month, you're going to have to look it up, obviously, online to see when the first lunar month is. It is asked for you to pray. And uh, maybe you guys are not, you know, big believers in temple or you were just not into the Buddha, um, you know, kind of religion. You can always just kind of put your hands together and just do a little prayer. And you don't need to be religious to do so. Um, sometimes just giving it recognition may protect you uh, in some ways. They ask to pray before the first lunar month or, or you guys, or wear your Pishu bracelet. There we go. Here it is, you guys. So now the Pishu bracelet is coming to play. Uh, I told you guys that I was gonna eventually mention why wearing it. Now for these five zodiac sign, it is imperative that you guys wear it. I beg you have invested so little for so much protection that it is imperative for you guys to get this bracelet, I beg you. Um, you don't have to get it from me necessarily. You can get it from anywhere if you want. Mine, like I said, is, have been preyed upon. Um, they've been protected by the uh, monk. They've already done the prayer. So you wouldn't have to pray on the uh, first lunar month as uh, the Chinese uh, would have it. But uh, if you're not willing to do that or you're just not, you know, a Buddha, or you don't practice any of those, you know, um, prayers or whatnot, it is always good to have that lucky charm, and that lucky charm will protect you guys, I, I tell you, it's going to be the best investment that you would have made, uh, now again, whether you um, are 
one of these zodiac signs or not it doesn't matter because it will protect you against evil it'll help you with wealth and health um, and it will give you that extra protection whether you need it or not uh, but for those that are within the the dates that i've mentioned it's really important you guys get that protection please do that um it, you know it's a small investment and that investment will last you for years and will protect you i i beg you um you know i don't want anything to my followers or for anyone i don't want anything to happen to them and if you're one of those five signs um again it is the ox the sheep the horse the dog and the dragon if you guys are any of those five like i said it's gonna be a rough year for you guys so i just want you to make sure that uh, you don't live walking uh, looking over your back, always being scared. Once you have it, you can go about your daily life and not have to worry about anything. Now, you do have to respect, though, the um, Southwest. You know, just remember it's very damaging. So just kind of keep an eye on where your your things are positioned. But other than that, as far as driving and getting angry and whatnot, this calms you down, you guys. Um, this protects you. Um, so you're going to have it and it's going to kind of create an aura of protection around you. And um, like I said, it's going to be the best investment that you've made. So I hope you guys, this has been a pretty helpful. Uh, I know you guys have always asked me, should I get it? Because it conflicts with the Zodiac. Um, some people may say no. Um, I say 100% yes, because that's what it is done for me and that's what it is there for it is there to protect you like i said it has been preyed upon not everybody sells these bracelets that are pay a lot of people sell them from china um and they just kind of manufacture them and just send them they don't really care about them these have been protected for you guys so all you have to do is wear them purify them when you get them home um and then it'll just work for you it really is it's gonna start protecting you kind of create an aura around you and you won't have to worry about this here you guys so i hope this was uh, informative i was really excited to share this video because you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about it and i've been dying to share uh, my knowledge with you all uh if you guys have any question flywithshelly at gmail.com or you can go on my website at powerfulbracelet.com uh, make sure you click the chat button or you can text me. The number is at the bottom of the website. Um, but you have to have a cell phone in order to be able to contact us uh, via the website, via text. Um, if not, you could always email and I make sure to either reply or my staff or whoever is working that day. So love you guys. Thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have more videos coming up whether it's about flight or it's about bracelet, always so informative. I want you, you guys to be safe and keep the peace, love, and stay protected. Love you guys. Love you so much. Bye.